Um, prior to coming to Gainesville High School, um, I began in family health and pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology, um, psychiatric nursing. Um, I've done education, nursing management, um, just a little bit of everything. While I was a clinic coordinator, um, I was approached about the medical assistant program. Um, we were constantly looking to hire medical assistants and LVNs and there was a shortage um, all the time. So I thought it was really exciting that they had a program for young adults that they were wanting to really get started. Ms. Dunn's the, the quintessential CT teacher and that she was, um, she worked quite a, quite a few years in the medical field as a nurse and decided that since we are a district of innovation, um, her qualifications in the work world uh, allowed her to become a teacher uh, here. Freshman year, they started Principles of Health Science. They learn their basics. They do first aid and CPR, um, just basic vital signs, um, and kind of investigate the health careers. Health science theory, they learn their disease processes um, and just get more in depth into their skill levels. Um, then we get to medical terminology, which is junior year. Um, this year is the first year that we've added a patient care technician certification to that as well through NHA. Um, and then senior year is their double block, so they see me for two classes. Um, and in that uh, pathway, they'll obtain their certif certified medical assistant. A CMA can do injections, EKGs, vital signs, um, even more than a CNA can the do. Growth, so. The growth in the program has been, been incredible. Um, and it's all through Ms. Dunn. She has driven it from just a few students um, to now we have had to add another teacher. Um, but then she's kind of stepped out. Um, she started a HOSA, which is a National Organization Health Occupation Students of America. Um, they're actually competing now, which I love. Um, they went down to uh, Colleen uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, did extremely well. Um, we've doubled our amount of students. The kids have really just grabbed on interest level. Like they are, they're excited. And kids want to learn. They want to get hands on. They want to help in healthcare, which is great because that's what we need right now. Um, use the GISD Foundation grant. Uh, to buy a lot of those mannequins, those little um, lifelike uh, models that they use where they learn how to take blood pressure, they can do injections, they do a lot of really neat things. From freshman year, I expect them to become professionals. I expect them to succeed in their life, even if it's not in healthcare, you know, I want them to um, go above their expectations. And then by the time they're a senior, I want whatever skill it is that they're perfecting, I want them to go above that. And I want them to go beyond their certifications. I want them to continue their education. I want them to, um, you know, just really be confident in themselves when they're done. So she has a love for the medical field, and but her, she has a, a greater desire to help those future students become um, qualified to, to work in the, in the medical field, whether it be right out of high school or um, to go straight to like a medical school and become a nurse. So I think my why is two parts. Like I think I kind of started my why for one reason and my why was like the community. The community needed it. The community needed more medical assistance. The community needed more. And then when I got here, my why became my students because my students are my kids. And um, even now my students that are graduated, like they come and visit me and like I just love them so much. So. Um, my why is definitely my students and I want to see them succeed.